Hello or Amitofu, as they seem to say in the Shaolin Temple Europe. The man you mainly see here is called Monroe Colomb. I hope I spell him correctly. That is the name that should appear in his passport. And uh, he has given himself the name Shi Heng Song or believes he was given the name. Uh, he presents himself as the abbot of the Shaolin Temple Europe, as I have often say, said, a fake temple, and he is wearing a Buddhist robe. To become an abbot of a Shaolin Temple, you would have to be ordained by an abbot or by a fully ordained monk, not just by a fighting monk, and you would have to be qualified, so you would have to study the Dharma first. I asked around in the Buddhist community in Germany and internationally, and this man is not known, he was not seen to study the Dharma. He just claims to be an abbot uh, and wants to be called a teacher of whatever. Actually, this uh, results in a parachika. A parachika is a main offense in the Buddhist monastic code. Uh, as you can guess, one of the offenses would be murder, another one stealing. But the one we talk about here is claims to be something that you are not. The claims are given on this website as, uh, for example, to have achieved a real realization pertaining to the category of jhanas, of uh, certain steps of development, mental development, or the entrance into the four stages of Arya that he has actually not experienced, and so on and so on. Now, my interpretation of this is pretty simple. Anyone who claims to be an abbot of a Chan lineage and has not been ordained correctly nor studied the Dharma nor has any special qualifications that could make him an abbot is committing this offense and must immediately be excluded from the Buddhist Sangha. This means that uh, formally the Shaolin Temple in Henan, or if there are enough people outside of Henan, like in Berlin, in Austria, and some other places where there are legit monks sent from the Shaolin Temple in China, a necessary number of monks has to come together and do a, what is called a Sangha di Sesa, based on the Vinaya Code, the monks' code, uh, this is like a meeting where the accused can uh, put in his own words some defense, uh, but because it's pretty clear this will not be convincing, there will only be one outcome. He must be excluded. Formally, correctly, it has to be done by the Shaolin Temple in Henan because he claims to be a Shaolin abbot. Also, it's a bit tricky here because actually everything he claims is uh, false. But as he works under this title, it is the obligation of the Shaolin Temple to clear this up. And if they don't do it, and that's why I started to make this clip in English so that they understand it, they are responsible for this fraud too. Which means for you, as adepts of Chan Buddhism, that you immediately have to stop supporting this abbot or whatever he does, which would result in stopping to support the Shaolin Temple Europe and even result in supporting the Shaolin Temple in Henan or its legit temples anywhere else. Because it is 
I repeated the obligation of the Shaolin Temple itself to do a formally correct expulsion of a fraudful monk who claims to be something that he isn't, who claims to have reached a state of teachership, of avidship that he has not really gained. So this falls under the Parachika and means that he is to be excluded finally from the Buddhist Sangha. He is for me already, but if you want to do it correctly, please ask the Shaolin Temple to do it. I ask them hereby directly. I ask the temple in Henan or its legit temples anywhere else to do this Sangha de Sesa and exclude Monroe Colomb alias Xiang Tsong from the Buddhist Sangha, which he has done by himself already by formally violating the monk's code. Thank you for your attention. Ich sag's jetzt nochmal auf Deutsch. Ich habe hier den Shaolin Tempel in Henan aufgerufen, formal korrekt diesen Mann, bürgerlich auf Marmonro Kolomb, der sich Xien Zon nennt und als Abt des Shaolin Tempel Europes bezeichnet, aus der buddhistischen Sangha auszuschließen. Ich habe gesagt, er ist bereits ausgeschlossen, weil er eine der Hauptvergehen begangen hat nach dem buddhistischen Mönchscode, eine Parachika, die sich bezieht auf die Anmaßung, etwas zu sein, was man nicht ist. Ähm, und ich habe das hier entsprechend interpretiert. Er maßt sich an, ein Lehrer und Abt in einer äh, Zen-Linie zu sein und äh, ist völlig unbekannt in der buddhistischen Szene. Niemand weiß, was und wo er gelernt haben will. Und er hat das auch in der Chronik äh, seines Tempels nicht überzeugend darstellen können. Deshalb darf man ihn nicht als Mitglied der buddhistischen Sangha ansehen. Aufgrund dieser Anmaßung ist er damit ausgeschlossen. Und wenn das formal korrekt vom Shaolin Tempel Henan gemacht wird, sollte das äh, auch bekannt gegeben werden. Wenn nicht, solltet ihr nicht nur die Unterstützung, das sowieso äh, dieses Abtes unterlassen und des Shaolin Tempel Europes, den er mit betreibt, sondern ihr solltet auch den Shaolin Tempel in Henan nicht unterstützen, weil es dessen Aufgabe ist, für Klarheit zu sorgen. Dieser Mensch trägt eine Robe, ohne dafür qualifiziert zu sein,